Hello everyone, welcome to another um, video tutorial in my channel. By the way, I am Engineer J. And in this video, we will talk about corrections in tape. This is one of the important topic in elementary surveying. So in this video, I am going to teach you on how to compute corrections and the corrected length in measuring distances and laying out points in the field. The reason why we need to know how to compute corrections in our tape is to have accuracy when it comes to laying out points and of course to know how much adjustment should we make in our tape in order to get the true lengths and distances. This is very important especially if you are a land surveyor or an engineer. Okay, but before that, let's make ourselves familiar with some of important keywords that will be helpful as we are computing distances or as we are computing corrections later on. Now, we have two important keywords. We have measuring and we have laying out. When we say measuring, when we already have two fixed point in our field and all we need to do is to measure the distance between that point but when we see laying out we do not have yet a point in our field but we have to locate that point using the given distance or a given measurement okay now if our tape is found to be too long is if our tape is medyo mahaba we add corrections when measuring distances and if our tape is too long, then we subtract correction when laying out distances. But if our tape is um, found to be too short, we subtract correction when measuring distances and we add corrections when laying out distances. So you have to uh, make yourself familiar with this um, concept. Okay, when we say again too long, add correction when measuring, subtract correction when laying out. When we say too short, we subtract correction when measuring and add correction when laying out distances. Now, in, in order to compute the corrected length, we have this um, expression, we have this equation. Actually, you do not need to familiarize or you do not need to memorize this one. Okay, so you just need to familiarize how it is being um, developed. Now, corrected length or CL is equal to ML. ML here is the measured or the laid out length. You can either subtract or add the corrected or the total correction. Okay, total correction is basically equal to correction times the measured length over the nominal length. The nominal length here, this is the standard length of a tape. It could either be a 50-meter tape or a 100-meter tape. So it depends on the type of our tape. Ito yung maximum length na pwedeng ma-stretch uh, ma ng ating tape. Diba some of the tapes are roll, uh, are 100-meter rolled, okay? And iba naman, we have 50-meter rolled or 25-meter Okay, so it depends on the type of the tape. Now, there are a lot of factors that could influence our data as we are measuring or laying out points. Now, one of these factors is temperature. Now, if, if there is an excessive heat sa um, place of measurement, that would cause our tape to elongate. Okay, there would be an increase in the length. Okay, like for example, if you have a plastic tape, so if masyadong mainit, that would cause our tape to expand. Okay, and that would cause error in our measurement. Now, the formula in order to compute for the temperature or correction due to temperature is we have um, CT, the tape, the temperature correction is equal to K, K here is the temperature coefficient of linear expansion or the coefficient of thermal expansion. So this is standard. It varies with the type of the tape. Okay, now, but for the most common tape, we have steel tape. The value of K is 0 0.00000645 foot per degree Fahrenheit or 0. 00001116 meter per degree Celsius. 
Okay? So, this is the value of K for steel tape. Times T2 minus T1, this is the change in temperature. T2 here, this is the temperature during the measurement or the observed temperature. T1 here, this is the temperature during L1. But most commonly, T1 here, this is the, the temperature when we do not have correction in our length or the standard temperature in other words. Okay, so just familiarize this uh, formula to compute for the correction due to temperature or the change in length due to the change in temperature. We also have the correction due to pull. Now, if you um, pull um, the tape more than its required pull, so, ang mangyayari, there would be an increase in the length in our tape. So, ang tape would stretch. Okay? If you pull a tape more than its um, standard pull. And thus, it would result to error in our tape. Tama? But if you pull a tape lesser than its standard pull, so there would be a um, sagging. Okay? So, ang mangyayari, there would be a shortening in the tape. So, ito yung mangyayari sa ating tape. Okay? So, it is very important na you pull the tape on its standard pull. As much as possible, ang ating tape is perfect horizontal. No inclinations, no sagging. Now, the formula to compute for the correction due to pull is PM minus PS. PM here, this is the actual pull during the measurement. Okay, so how much pull you exerted when you measured or when you laid out. Okay, PS here is the standard pull, the standard pull for the tape that gives correct measurement if we do not have correction. L here is the length to be corrected. Okay, or the measured length. Over A, A here is the cross-sectional area. So if this is our tape, the cross-sectional area is this one, this shaded one here. Okay, so masyadong maliit tong ating area sa ating tape. Since the, the cross-sectional area of our tape is um, approximately equal to zero. And E here is the modulus of elasticity. E is constant. Usually given, it depends on the type of material. So for steel, E is 200 gigapascal. So you will know modulus of elasticity more when you are on your strength of material subject. Okay, correction, correction due to pull, the formula is this one. We also have the correction due to the weight of the tape. Okay, so if you do not exert enough pull again, ang mangyari, there would be sagging in our tape. Okay, so there would be bending. So if this is our tape, this is our support. So ito yung mangyari sa ating tape if we do not have um, adequate pull. Okay, there would be a, a bending in the tape due to its weight or due to its mass. So Okay, so therefore, it, we have to make sure that our tape when we are measuring or when we are laying out points, it should be supported through its or throughout its length. Okay, kailangan nakasupport siya all throughout its length. Pag ang ating support is on its end lang, so ang mangyari, there would be a greater chance na there would be sagging in the tape. Now, the formula to compute for the correction due to sag is CW or the correction due to the weight is equal to W squared. W here is the weight of the tape per linear meter. So, the formula, the unit of W here is kilogram per meter or the weight of our length per 1 meter length of our tape times L cube. L here is the distance between two supports. So if, for example, if we have support here, we also have support in this side. So the, the distance between two support, that is our L. Over 24 P squared. P is the actual pull or tension applied. Now, if you if you tend not to use linear weight, you can use the total weight of the tape or the capital W, but you just use this formula. CW is equal to W squared. W here is the total weight of the tape. 
times L, that is the distance between two support, over 24P squared. So you familiarize this formula in order to compute for the correction due to weight of the tape or due to sagging. And we also have the correction due to slope or inclined. Now, if we want to measure um, the distance of a land which has a grade, like for example, an inclined land, hindi pantay, we always measure it horizontally. Okay? So, dapat we measure it perfect horizontal. But sometimes, we do not know na naka-incline pala ang tape. Okay? And this inclination would cause ero error in our data because we already know na if we measure distances, it should be horizontally positioned or our tape should be perfect horizontal. Okay? Wala dapat tayong inclination sa ating tape. So, in order to compute the correction due to slope or due to inclination of the tape, is using this formula, ci is equal to h squared over 2s, where s here is the inclined distance. So if you have um, tape positioned like this one, so s here is this length, the inclined length, h is the difference in elevation at the end of the tape. Okay, so this one is our h. Okay, that's the formula for correction due to slope or correction due to inclination. Now, take note, the same as with the correction due to weight or correction due to sag, correction due to slope or inclination is always to be subtracted from the measured length when you want to compute the corrected or the through length of the line. And now I prepared an example and the solution of this example will be discussed in the second part of this video. Please click the link of the part 2 of this video in the description below. Thank you guys for listening.